guys, so I had a friend recently ask me for some tips on uh, culling and organizing your photos. And so I thought I would put together a quick video tutorial for you guys, um, just showing you how I personally do that. Um, first thing I'm going to do is show you how I organize my photos. Um, in my finder, everything is in my pictures folder. I have a 365 folder um, just for my 365 images, which I save um, by the date that they were shot. And then uh, I have a folder for each year. Um, later than 2013, I actually have those only on my external hard drive, which is here. So I have 2012, 2011, and 2010 here. Um, and then I back all of this stuff up to Backblaze. But within my pictures, I've got uh, here 2013 and 2014. And in within my 2013 folder, I have things sorted by client sessions, personal, and weddings. And then within each of these folders, I have them sorted by month. Now, not only do I name the folders the name of the month, but also the corresponding number for that month. That way, when it auto-sorts it um, alphabetically, it's still in the proper order um, for calendar months. Uh, for my client sessions and my weddings within each month, I have them named by what kind of session it was, um, who it was for, and where it took place. You can see here, um, this was a family session with the Riordans, the Olode, um, at Mayfield Nature Preserve. Um, here was a family session with the Moles at Old Settlers Park, and so on. Events, um, Kyle and Toby's baby shower. And then personal, I actually just have them um, sorted by day, which makes things a little bit more difficult to find, but also the content is a little bit more all over the place, so it's harder to sort by what exactly is happening. Um, weddings, the same as client sessions. Um, I have them labeled weddings, um, the couple's name, and where the wedding took place. So uh, finding client images is usually relatively easy for me. Um, personal and not quite so much but this is the way that I do it and so far it's been working for me really well and then um, take you over to Lightroom and the first thing that I want to show you is the most important thing for culling your images in my opinion is here under file handling here where it says render previews that should say one to one um, that is extremely important that you render one-to-one -one previews upon import. It does take a little bit longer to import your images that way. However, when you're um, sorting through them in your film strip, the previews will load much more quickly and it makes, um, it makes culling your images down much, much faster. So I'm bringing you back over here. This is just... Uh, some snapshots that I took of the girls the other day when we went out to Juice Land and then we uh, sub subsequently went to the park and I went on to put together a little blog post of them. Um, culling images, I, I will do it one of two ways. Uh, it's It depends on what I'm doing. When I'm, when I'm sorting my personal images, it's easier for me to decide the photos that I know that I don't want to keep like ones that are obviously out of focus, all, all of that stuff I've already gotten rid of because I didn't want this video to run incredibly long. Um, but I will sort through them and I will press the one button on any image that I know for sure I don't want to keep. So I'll give it a one star rating. Um, images that are obviously um, under or overexposed beyond saving or are blurry or out of focus will get a one star rating and then I will go back and delete all the images that have a one star rating. Um, so you can do it that way or um, the better way to do things so that you don't have to go back through and then sort again through the images that you decided not to delete is to go through all of them and choose the ones you know you want to keep. So and that's harder for me with personal images. It's just really difficult for me. It's so much easier with client images, but with pictures of my own family and my own kids, it's so much more difficult. But um, I have already called this down to about 50% of what I started with. 
And what I do, and you can see how quickly these previews here load. They don't take, um, you know, three to five seconds to load the way they normally would. But basically, I just arrow through with the uh, arrow button on my keyboard. Hi, the baby, I think, is ready to go to sleep. Anyway, I arrow through, and when I see an image that I think that I want to keep, I will give it a three-star rating. So I'll press the um, number three on the keyboard. And I've already done that with most of these. I'm going to go through here and see if I have changed my mind about anything. Uh, I think I've already picked the images from here I want to keep. No. Always check focus at 100%. And any images that I find that are not um, perfectly in focus, I get rid of. And sometimes it's sad because it may be a favorite image of mine, but I just have a very strict rule to not keep any images that are not in focus. For example, this one is too soft for my liking. So, although I really love this capture of Eden, I will not be keeping it. This one, however. Sweetheart. Go figure I would have a super fussy baby when I'm trying to make a video for you guys, but this is the fifth time I've made this video, so. I think I have this super contrasty wall here behind the girls at Juice Land, so um, I missed focus on a lot of these was unfortunate. I think I got rid of all the ones that were out of focus though. <laughs> oh, that crazy kid. So basically this is what I do, arrow through all of these images, I'm Eden here photobombing these, I'll be able to composite them. And then we went to the park where I didn't get a whole lot of anything good. And these were all over the place.
Okay, so I've gone through and given three stars to all the images I think I want to keep. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here. I'm going to select rating is less than or equal to two, just in case I ever happen to push something else, like a two or a one. And then I will select one end of the images. And then I will shift and select the opposite end. And that's going to select all of the images in the film strip. Um, remember, we've sorted them all to two stars and, and lower rating. Uh, right click, delete photos, delete from disk. And then there they are, they're gone. And then you're going to switch this back to rating is greater than or equal to two. And that's going to bring back up all of the three star images, which leaves me with 37. And I'll probably pull this back to like, I don't know, 10 or 15 favorites. Um, I'm really not good at culling images. I ha I'm, I'm just, I, I tend to want to keep things that I just shouldn't want to keep, especially when it comes to my own kids. And, um, but I am going to narrow this down a bit more. Like I won't keep all three of these photos, obviously. I'll keep just one of them. And I'll probably do a composite with these. But anyway, that is how I cull and sort my photos. Um, if anybody has any questions, if there's anything that I forgot to cover that would be beneficial, let me know. Um, I'm an open book. I'm here to help. Um, just let me know if there's anything else that I can uh, help you guys with. Thanks for watching.